Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video we have one very interesting question from radical equations. It is x is equal to square root 14 over x minus 3 minus 9 over x minus 2. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing these denominators cannot be 0 for real solution. So I will write x is equal to 2 is not possible and x is equal to 3 is not possible. Now from left hand side we can conclude x must be positive also. Now I will begin with LCM. So I can write our equation x equal to the square root of denominator is the product of x minus 2 with x minus 3. Now I will be writing here 14 times x minus 2 minus 9 times x minus 3. Let's simplify. So a square root of 14x minus 28 minus 9x minus minus plus 27 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3. Further we can write x is equal to the square root of 14x minus 9x, 5x minus 28 plus 27 minus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So square and this side also square. Now I can cancel square root with power 2. So what is left? It is x square equal to 5x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3. Now x is not equal to 2 and 3, so I can cross multiply. So x square times x minus 2 times x minus 3 equal to 5x minus 1 as x is not equal to 2 and 3. Now let's simplify LHS first. x square. Now I will take product of these two brackets. So x square minus 3x minus 2x minus 5x minus 2 times minus 3 plus 6 equal to 5x minus 1. Let us multiply x square with x square x power 4. x square times minus 5x minus 5x cube plus 6x square equal to 5x minus 1. Take all the term to LHS. x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 6x square minus 5x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will divide this equation both sides by x square as x is equal to 0 is not solution of this equation divided by x square x not equal to 0. So once I will divide I will be having x square minus 5x plus 6 minus 5 over x plus 1 over x square and RHS will be flat 0. Now I will consider first and last term in one bracket and second and second last term in one bracket. Then it will look like x square plus 1 over x square first and last term. From second and second last term minus 5 is common x plus 1 over x and constant term it would be 6 equal to 0. Now let us consider 
substitution x plus 1 over x equal to suppose a. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to a square. So from here x square plus 1 over x square equal to a square minus 2 which will substitute in the first term here this value and here we will substitute our substitution x plus 1 over x equal to a. So we will be having quadratic equation in a. Let me write here a square minus 2. This is x square plus 1 by x square minus 5 times it is a and then plus 6 equal to 0. Now I can write a square minus 5a plus 4 equal to 0. One quadratic equation in a and a is our substitution x plus 1 by x. Let's solve this quadratic first. a square minus 5a plus 4 equal to 0. So let us use quadratic formula method minus b minus of minus 5 plus 5 plus minus square root of b square 25 minus 4ac so minus 16 divided by 2a so i will write 2 equal to 5 plus minus square root 9 it will be divided by 2 which further i can write 5 plus minus 3 divided by 2 with plus sign it will be 8 over 2 with minus sign it will be 2 over 2 so we'll have two values of a 4 and 1 now a was our substitution x plus 1 over x let us frame two equations so i'll be writing here x plus 1 over x equal to 1 and second equation x plus 1 over x equal to 4. Now we have to solve both the equations. Let's multiply both sides by x. So I will write x square plus 1 equal to x. x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's apply quadratic formula x is equal to minus b so 1 plus minus is square root b square is minus 1 is square 1 minus 4 ac divided by 2 a so 2 i can write 1 plus minus this will be square root of minus 3 so i can write i square root 3 divided by so two solutions are here but both are complex solutions complex solutions so we will reject this rejected now come to second equation multiply both sides by x x square plus 1 equal to 4x or x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 let's apply quadratic formula so x is equal to minus b so 4 plus minus under the root b square 16 minus 4ac over 2a so i can write 4 plus minus a square root 12 divided by 2 now 12 can be factorized 4 times 3 so we can write 2 square root 3 2 square root 3 divided by 2 so we will be having two solutions here and both will be real 2 plus minus root 3. Both will be real and both will be positive. Let us cross check if any solution is rejected from here. So I will write here 
the two values of x 2 plus a square root 3 and second value is 2 minus a square root 3. If I will write its decimal value then root 3 is 1.732. So this is 3.732 and this is 0 0.268 2 minus 1.73. Now I will check, let me write here, x is equal to, it was the square root of 5x minus 1 divided by x minus 2, x minus 3. Let's check from inequality whether this radicand should be positive for our x values. So I will use the number line method. I will write here 5x minus 1 bracket, x minus 2 bracket and then third bracket x minus 3. Number line, suppose here it is 1 by 5, here it is 2 and here is 3. Now once x is greater than 1 by 5, then 5x minus 1 bracket will be positive. So I will write here sign convention plus 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 but before 1 by 5 it would be negative. Similar argument I will apply x minus 2 bracket here I will be writing plus plus here I will write minus. Similarly the third bracket x minus 3 it will be positive when x is greater than 3 but before x is equal to 3 it would be negative. Now only we have to check where we are getting positive sign. So here it would be positive in this interval and in this interval also from 3 to infinity it is positive. Elsewhere it is negative. So our x should lie either in the interval of 1 by 5 to 2 or it should be greater than 3. There are two conditions on x. So we have to cross examine only these conditions. So first value if I will check it is 3.732 this value which is greater than 3. So we will accept this one and second value if I will check it is 0 0.268 which is lying in this interval 0 0.2 to 2. That means both solutions are accepted solutions. 2 plus minus square root 3 and this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.